It's the T-Rex, a top carnivore. It's the T-Rex, king of the dinosaur. A paleontologist named Barnum Brown in 1902 found the first T-Rex fossil around. Tyrannosaurus Rex was named in 1905 by Henry Fairfield Osborne. That's when T-Rex entered our lives. King of the tyrant lizards is what T-Rex means. And the late Cretaceous periods when it roamed Earth, you see. He was a carnivore, that means he loved to eat meat. It may have hunted in a pack due to some new theory. It's the T-Rex, a top carnivore. It's the T-Rex, king of the dinosaur. T-Rex weighed around five to seven tons. As heavy as an elephant, but much less fun. It was 40 feet in length and it was 20 feet tall. It was longer than a school bus, but not bigger than all. North America is where the T-Rex once called its home. But to visit him now, a museum is where you'd roam. Recent studies show that T-Rex ate their own kind. And despite what movies tell you, yeah, their eyesight worked fine. It's the T-Rex. A top carnivore. It's the T Rex, king of the dinosaur. Some other real fun facts about the star dinosaur. It possibly used its three foot arms to push itself off the floor. Has some of the largest teeth found of any dino to this day. Was he a predator or a scavenger? That's the debate. Paleontologists say the T Rex had no roar. Birds are the closest relative to the late dinosaur. It's the T-Rex, a top carnivore. It's the T-Rex, king of the dinosaur. Thanks for watching KLT. Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.